Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rahana. We're playing more Gakko in Heaven 2. We're just going to jump straight into the next scene today. This is June 14th, the morning. And that is like the loudest waking up sound I have ever heard. It's morning. It's already morning. So, I swear, I'm not holding out on you guys. I didn't cut anything out. That's just how the game goes. We go straight from the previous scene to the next morning. Sorry, guys. Wah. Takuto-san and I... Um... He's fast asleep. He said he stayed up all night, so I shouldn't wake him. Still. I did it with him. It's kind of a weird feeling. So there we go. In case it was kind of ambiguous or, you know, you might have someone wanting to deny that they actually had sex. No, they did it. Yuki very clearly said, I did it with him. He's asleep. He's not waking up. I love you. <laughs> Ah, that's so embarrassing. Ah, what am I saying? But, you know, still, it's love, isn't it? That's what this is. <laughs> what should I do? I'm happy and I'm breaking into a grin. I don't want him to see me looking so undignified. I can only imagine what kind of goofy face he's making just being super happy about all of this. I'm glad he's asleep. Uh -huh. Of course, the moment you say that, he's not asleep anymore. Uh, Good morning. And uh, that's that's pretty much the best smile you're gonna, you're going to see on him in the entire game, right here. Well, actually, no. There's there's one CG toward the end that is honestly my favorite in the entire game, and I will point it out in detail when we get there but this is a really good one too um just the the way his eyes look the that smile on his face the messiness of his hair it's just, it's just perfect oh, good morning Nanji. what time is it Mada, it's only five also in the morning mm. yeah you were up all night weren't you Mada, it's still early, so why don't you sleep a little longer? Yes. I'll wake you up when it's time. Will you stay here? Hmm? Will you stay in this bed with me until I wake up? Yeah. So. Then, if you insist. Oh. He's asleep. He really must have been tired. It's kind of an awkward mood. Asahina. Nani? What is it? Daijoubudeska. Are you alright? Karada. Itai tokoroa. Your body, do you hurt anywhere? Heiki desu. I'm fine. And how sweet is that? He wakes back up thinking of this to ask Yuki if he's okay. Big, big difference from the uh, the previous game where some of the uh, sex scenes were kind of horribly questionable and uh, basically awful. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. I'm fine. So this guy. That's good. I'm glad. Because you never complain about anything. You know, implying that even if Yuki was not feeling great, he wouldn't speak up. Because he's just too much of a the kind of person who wants to make other people happy. Doesn't want to complain. Doesn't want to cause trouble. Doesn't want to make waves. That sort of... Um, in a way, deferring personality. Not in the sense that Yuki's a doormat. But in the sense that, you know, he doesn't want to cause trouble to other people or make other people feel bad. So, you know, 
important to take someone like that and really ask them, you know, are you okay? And get a, an honest answer instead of a kind of wishy-washy one. He fell asleep. You're worrying too much. Actually, it feels creaky inside. But even though I'm embarrassed, I'm happy. It's kind of awkward and my face is breaking into a smile. I kind of never considered this. But it feels much more natural than I thought. This Takuto sounds a little different from the one I've known up until now. I've gotten far closer to him than before. This is nice. But... With a senpai in the school dorm, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Act first, think later, as usual. It would be bad if people found out. If someone knew that Takato-san and I... Yeah, there would be gossip. It would be bad. Yes? What? He's talking in his sleep. He's saying my name in his sleep. <laughs> like, how cute is that, right? Oh well. Takato-san and I aren't doing anything bad. We just went for it and got honest about our feelings for each other. That's something really important. Yeah, it's okay. We'll be fine. I'm sure. And fortunately, we have Yuki's luck on our side to make sure that happens. So there we have it. The morning after scene, short and sweet. In uh, more ways than one. That, that's just a really cute scene. I, I really appreciate that that was put in there because it didn't have to be there. You know, they could have gone directly into whatever happens next. Of course, I forgot again. But um, no, this this scene was deliberately included nice uh, cg cg variations and things like that put in here to uh, reinforce again that you know this is a very happy relationship yeah maybe it'll cause problems maybe people will find out maybe it'll be a something they have to overcome but they're happy with each other takato is worried about yuki wants him to be happy wants him to be feeling okay and not regretting anything or hurting and, you know, Yuki's got the typical worries about what if somebody finds out. But he also has this, this strong sense of, you know what? We didn't do anything wrong. What we did, we acted on our feelings. Our feelings were honest. Our actions were honest. And that's just the way it is. And I, I like that about this scene. That Yuki can have those kind of practical worries, but also have... The kind of idealistic uh, view of things that everything's going to work out. And because it's Yuki, everything will work out as long as you pick the right answers in all the right places. So we'll just keep playing and we'll make all the right choices and everything will be perfect. So there's that scene, uh, nice and short. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, please do come back next time for more of Talk Toes Root. Thanks for watching.